Well, on the program this evening, anger over the hardliners' uh, arrest. Can the BJP stall the PDP's pro-separatist politics? Joining us to debate this, Zafar Meraj, the leader of the PDP, Nalan Kohli, spokesperson of the BJP, Radha Kumar, the former interlocutor looking into affairs in Jammu and Kashmir, and Kushbu, the spokesperson uh, of the Congress party. Zafar Miraj, let me come to you first. Soft separatism, these were the politics of the PDP. Is that now over? Vishnu, I think this impression is wrong. There is no pro-separatist politics. There is no soft, soft separatism. Mufti Muhammad said believes in peace. PDP believes in peace and it's pro-people policies. And we want that a lasting peace should be established in Jammu and Kashmir. And that is also in our uh, this party uh, political manifesto. And also, it, is, it has been included in the CMP, which we have entered into with Bharatiya Janta Party. That every effort will be made to bring peace back to Kashmir. And for that so matter, we'll have Pakistani to open a dialogue with all the stakeholders. are flown in any rally held by separatist leaders, you will take similar action? Yes. Any Pakistani flag being hosted or uh, uh, you know, shown the demonstrated in any public rally will not be tolerated, as has been clearly said by Chief Minister. So Minister. why did it take such, you... Such Wha efforts will not be tolerated, but... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Why did it take you so much time, sir, why, why, to why, take why? action against Masrat Alam? It's it, been a it month. Take any time. This is a man who's caused problems Vishnu, for more than Vishnu. a decade. Why did it take, why did it take him Vishnu. to be in a place where the Pakistani flag was being waved and where you've got hardline secessionless leaders make an appearance, why did you have to wait for this situation, sir? Why couldn't he have been detained uh, Vishnu, once that order lapsed immediately? Vishnu, the order did lapse. Order was there. His release order was there. And you know the technicalities involved in that Supreme Court order. If you had to uh, slap another PSA on him, you have to first inform him and give him seven days uh, uh, you know, period to take any legal course. And the police did not delay acting against Masrat Alam. The very day the flags were shown and the, the uh, slogans were, objectionable slogans were shouted at the rally. At that very day, a case was lodged against Masrat Alam. And after that, police started an investigation. Case was investigated, video footage was uh, investigated, video footage was seen. And after that, necessary provisions of the law were slapped on him and he was taken into custody. So there's no, no, no question of any delay. Nalin Kohli, is that, is that an answer that satisfies the BJP? Because as I understand it, the BJP is very clear. There is no issue of any separatist business over here. This is India. It will always remain India. People with these views are not acceptable and not acceptable to the BJP in any political alliance. Is the answer today provided by I the PDP good enough for you? <clears throat> let's go one by one and let's look at it in the correct perspective. There can be no compromise with the constitution of the country. There can't be any compromise with the security of the country and there can't be any compromise with the sovereignty of the country. These are the three Lakshman Rekhas, if I may call it. And that's where nationalism comes up with. Now, we are a government in coalition. Whatever be our views, how we may have enunciated it, when we work on a common minimum program, the focus is the people of the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, if I bring it down to the level of the separatists, they separated themselves away from the election process. They always have. They've separated themselves away from the people because the people went out and voted. So the priority of the government of Jammu and Kashmir, which is a coalition, is to bring in development, is to ensure peace, as the spokesperson from the PDP is also saying, and is basically there to ensure that the state is governed properly as per rule of law. Anyone, it doesn't matter who, anyone who will break the law is liable to be booked under provisions of the law. There is no dispute about this and there can be no dispute about it. Uh, Zafar Mehraj, let me ask you this. What about statements which were made in the not-too-distant past by Mufti Muhammad Said, when the election uh, took place with such a remarkable turnout, he actually thanked separatists for allowing that process to continue. Yes. Then there were statements which were made, which uh, said that the, the release of people uh, like uh, this particular, like Masrat Alam, were part of a democratic process. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that now all changing? Are those views now all changing? No, there's no change in our view. That view. Because we want to take along everybody, everybody who is the citizen of Jammu and Kashmir, 
we want to take him along for this uh, bringing peace to Jammu and Kashmir, for the speedy development of Jammu and Kashmir, and for. Kushbu, I'll come to you in a moment. Yes, about, about, uh, see, Kushbu, see, give see, me see, one see, moment. See yeah, their go ahead, Zafar Miraj. Seek their support. Seek their support. Try to, uh, to discuss things with them. Try to talk to them. And try to bring them along uh, to, to our, our fold. So that, so, so, so that they, 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 are, they, are, they are told clearly what, what, what they are doing is not going to bring any good thing for Jammu and Kashmir and pe its people. Okay. So as far as the opening up dialogue, talking to such people, talking to everybody is concerned, we stand by that. Okay. Kushbu, would you like to come in over there? There's nothing wrong with talking. There are, separatism is a reality in Jammu and Kashmir. So what we term as soft separatism, as, as, as politics which may perhaps be conventionally unacceptable, for the PDP, Zafar Miraj says it's just the business of talking to people who are Indian citizens. They may have different views, but they are Indian citizens. <coughs> yes. No, yes, I would like I... to correct you, Vishnu. He said they are the citizens of Jammu and Kashmir. He didn't say, that's why I raised my hands, because it takes so long for them to say that they are the citizens of India and not of Jammu and Kashmir alone. Zafar First, Miraj, we need to make say, a correction there. Will, they are the citizens. Zafar Miraj, will yeah, you say why that Jammu and Kashmir is part of India? Of India Please, I think I think PDP citizens of Jammu and Kashmir. It's it's Kuch supposed. Raise an important point. Yes, Zafar you Miraj, have to. Will you just clarify? Yes. Important clarification. Why do we always keep saying the that the citizens of Jammu and Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir, is is, is about India? Vishnu. Yes. Vishnu. Yes. Vishnu, I don't I don't know why our conditions are being doubted. Why our conditions are being doubted. If somebody talks about the oh, people of Bengal, he's not being asked to say whether you are Indian or not. Every no, year, every time, 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 every and elections were fought as the constitution of India, as the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir. So if I say people of Jammu Kashmir, I'm not making any, doing any crime. It's no crime. No, 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 no. We are not talking about the people of Jammu and Kashmir. I, I am not talking about the people of Jammu and Kashmir. I am talking about the separatists. I'm talking about the separatists. Today, the people, your separatists, the people of your, you say your Jammu and Kashmir. If the separatists are going to talk about anti-India, if if the separatists are going to talk about go back India, go back. If your separatists are going to say they are going to hoist a, a, a Pakistan flag in a rally, which is happening in my country, that is Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir belongs to my country. It belongs to your country. It belongs to India does not belong to one particular person, but if you have people who have been talking about anti-India, like people who have been enticing minute. the people to work against, no. no wait, they have been talking against India, they have been enticing people to create a, a disharmony, if they have been trying to entice people saying that uh, Indian government or India has been working against us, and you mean to say that you still say that they help you to uh, win the election? Do you mean to say that those 70 person include this separatist who were voted PDP to come to power? Are you trying to tell me the separatists voted for uh, PDP? And that is why Mufti Saab had to, was, was completely Vishnu, under the pressure like to, to thank them Malaysia. also, like he did? Okay, let me, uh, let me bring no, Nalin no, Kohli. No. Let me, let me uh, ask Nalin. Nalin wants to come in over here. Nalin, go ahead. Yes. Let's get beyond the jingoism for a minute. And let's beyond come back the to the facts. The elections are concerned. Let me finish my point. Wow, that's a new word. The elections were held under the election commission. It's an election which is in India. And if you talk about a state government, you will refer to it as a Jammu Kashmir state government. Second is, just to remind Kushbuji, because she was agitated, and this is something I know firsthand, there was an insurgency movement, as in many parts of India, in the state of Mizoram. And that is one of the few places where, under the government of India, the Indian Air Force was used to bomb places so that they could recover back the areas that had been taken by who were the insurgents at that time. Eventually, under Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, an accord was signed, a peace accord, the only successful peace accord, every insurgent and bullet came over ground. Now, certainly they were insurgents, but if anybody, whether a Maoist insurgent, anyone, accepts the constitution as the limit, speaks within the confines of the constitution, those born in this country are Indians, okay. then therefore there is nothing wrong with that. However, the government is not going to tolerate an anti-India activity to happen. So if an anti-India activity that happens or the law is about. broken, any government will take action. So okay. there is no confusion. I but I don't think it would be fair 
to attack back we and say that you know my in go jingoistic so my jingoistic is, and jingoism when, when might PDP work for talks. a political rally it doesn't work beyond this it's not a no i am saying if pdp says that 70% of voting which was given to pdp to come to power do they mean to say that that 70% includes the separatists do the do they do they well, include the people who have been shouting and they did not want to answer Zafar Mehra, it's a very answer common answer accusation. From a democratic perspective. When, no. when people uh, talk about who did not vote, they say even that those as who did not vote, no, no. that the government was for everyone. I'm sure these people who no, shout anti-India slogans, who take the pride in carrying Pakistani so national this flag. That you have got. No, 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 Zafar every, Miraj, go ahead. Everybody, everybody wh whenever the people came to vote, they came to polling booths, we never asked them, nobody could ask them whether they were separate or not. They came, they voted, they exercised their right of franchise, which has been enshrined no, in the government of India. No, but they had a certain India, expectation. Which has been given by the government of India. They had a certain country. expectation from you. You're not going to ask, you. but it's very clear for people to see. It's... It's very clear for people to see Vishnu what? that these separatists were not the 70% of the vote. I want to go across. PDP, I, right? I, I want to go across to no, Professor Radha no, Kumar. One moment, one said moment, said everybody. Said that they have, no, 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 this this victory wouldn't have been I, I would like all of you to just pause for a moment. I, I want to go across, get an independent voice over here. Professor Radha Kumar, you know, there's jingoism, there is this Masrat Alam case. It's also a common fact, it's a reality that Pakistan flags get flown around in separatist rallies in Jammu and Kashmir. This cannot be, this cannot be done away with. So therefore, when we look at the action the state government has taken today, is there a real fear that this is a one-off action? Realistically, you cannot wish these Pakistani flags away. No, I, I don't agree at all. In fact, uh, uh, just an hour ago, I was reading a very, very good long email from uh, a Kashmiri writer who pointed out that, in fact, it is very rarely that Pakistani flags are flown. You can probably count the incidents on which this has happened on the fingers of one hand. Uh, so, therefore, it is not common uh, um, and uh, you don't see them very often. And indeed, more separatist rallies, if you must call it separatist, I prefer dissident, take place without flying the Pakistani flag than do with waving it around. Um, wa uh, the Gilani and Masrat Alam faction are known to be one of the factions uh, within the dissident Hurriyat type movement that is actually completely pro-Pakistan. The others are not. Uh, and I think it's very important for all of us to remember those distinctions. Uh, having said that, uh, that this was meant to be deliberately provocative, I have no doubt about at all. Um, how you handle a deliberate provocation may be another matter to look at. This business that you keep arresting people under the PSA, releasing them, arresting them, this has been partly one of the reasons why Kashmir, uh, uh, the valley that is, suffers from so much disillusionment and embitterment. Much better is you have a rule of law.